Welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. We're doing a big diptych today. I have a client who wants two. Um, these are two by three, so it's going to really be four by three. Um, swipe. And it's going to be blues, mostly. And I don't know how it's going to go. So my idea, I have a few big swipers here. My idea is to do two lines like this and then tilt each one and try to make them look similar. Now over here, I have my spinner and I put another two by three board on the spinner. So when I spin it out, I just need to plop it on top. It's just a cake spinner and hopefully it spins. I don't really know what's going to happen. All right. So I'm using color to go tricorn black and I'll tell you the colors. Oh, I should probably mix up my colors. They've been sitting in their little cups there. So diptychs are super hard, especially because when you can't, you can't really spin them together. So you never know if they're going to be matchy matchy. Now I've mixed up a lot of paints um, because I'm doing two of the lines. So basically I have mixed my colors in four ounce cups and I just did two of each. So this is a four ounce cup. So this is the um, order we're doing. I'm going to start with TLP seed I can always forget the name. Seagrass? Sea foam? Seagrass, I think. Um, TLP Seagrass. This is uh, Matisse Southern Ocean Blue. This is TLP Horizon, which is an orangey color. And I put a little bit of twilight to have a bit of pink in it. This is Golden Teal. Then we have Golden Panes Gray, which is more of a blue. Then I have TLP Shimmer, which is an interference color. And then I'm topping it. Do you know what? I didn't even mix my cell activator. Am I a nut? Oh, great. Okay, here is TLP Nuts. That's the, okay. I woke up at five because Mojo woke me up at five. So you'll have to excuse me. This is not TLP. This is Silver, um, Arteza Silver, okay? We're a little slow today. So I'm gonna have to mix up my cell activator um, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have everything ready, I think. So let's start pouring. I have an open one already I'm gonna use up. Now, I've taped the sides right on top. So there's only like this much showing because I really like the look of the natural wood. So keep that in mind when you're pouring paint because I don't need as much to cover the sides. I'm still going to need a lot, but oops, a little big bloop. So this is going to take a minute. So you'll have to bear with me. Oh God, this is the first big painting that I'm doing in my new studio. So I'm just, cause I don't want a thick, I'm gonna probably spread this around anyways, but I don't want like a thick layer. Cause I don't want to put too much paint down. So it looks like about two and a half to three um, cans for each one. I might have to go get another can. Oh, oh. Oh, so sometimes they do it so tight I can't pour it out. Okay. The painting is actually the quickest process. It's the preparing of everything else. And that takes so long. Okay. So now I'll finish up on this one and then I'll just spread out the sides. I really hope this works out. 
you know I never know. Alright, I'm going a little quicker now. <laughs> Alright, I might have to go get another black. We'll see when I spread it out. Alright, it could be okay. So we want the middles covered. but I do not want too much paint left on. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna just start. Now when you do this with your color to go, you do get some bubbles when you move it around, so just be aware of that. Now, people ask me how I prepare my wood. Because I use cradled birch board, I don't actually do anything because they don't warp. But if you're using a thin, wood. Um, I, I wouldn't gesso it because I find that warps too. I would get um, like something like kills, like the wood uh, seal, sealer, and that seems to help. All right. I think I did pretty good. And I also find it much easier to work with these dark bases than white. I find that they crack much less. Now, how do you think I'm gonna reach over this side? Oh God, okay. So I just wanna make sure the paint flows off nicely and doesn't get stuck on anything. All right, well, that was exciting. Okay, so plan, next plan. What is my next plan? I'm not too sure. So since basically, I know I'm gonna be tilting the edges off, I don't necessarily have to bring my swipe all the way to the edge. We'll see. Now I also have, um, where did my paper towel go? Oh, over here. I also have right now a few different swipers to choose from. I guess I'll see what happens when I lay the paint down, but I have these two cake leveler things. So, hmm, I might start with the small one because this one, although nice, or I could do a big one and a small one. Let's see what happens when I start pouring the paint down. We go with the flow, right? Okay, so here we go. So one of these has to last, um, one per canvas, I guess. So why don't I do, yeah, why don't I do this one first? I was gonna go all the way, but it's e easier if I just do this one first and then spin it and then try to match the second one if I can, we don't know. So I have to save this color for both sides. God, I'm so nervous, I hate doing these things. It's so nerve wracking, isn't it? Okay. Especially because I don't always know what I'm doing. I just kind of make it up as I go and hope for the best. All right, so we have our C glass down. Next we will go with the Matisse Southern Ocean Blue. I have video number 81 or 82 is how I mix up my paints in, pouring media, in my pouring medium. Getting the same consistency with your paints and your pigments, because that's always really important. I really have to make this thicker because that big thing has to cover it all. <laughs> this is going to be the longest video of all time, so I apologize. Okay. Now we will go with the horizon with a bit of twilight. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm going to do the teal. Now this teal is opaque and it's really potent. So I'm going to just kind of do this rather than cover the whole thing. Okay. Now we have the Payne's gray. This looks a little thick, so I'm going to drizzle it. I almost think I, even though I want them to look alike, you really have to treat them separately because I've been doing them together and it's just harder to do. All right, now we're gonna go with the interference shimmer. This is kind of like a greenish gold interference color. Put a little here, why not, right? A lot of paint is falling off the side. Luckily, I'm almost done. This is the silver. Now my silver is pretty gloopy, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, and then we're just gonna swipe and like, just go for it, right? I'm using the Shelly Art recipe for my cell activator. I'm using Payne's Gray. I have 15% off in my description to take the class. It's amazing, amazing Facebook groups, always learning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cell activator and I'm gonna schmooze it on the back here. Okay. Schmoozy, schmoozy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting to see the cell activators um, getting muddy, so I'm going to start again. So I'm going to wipe it down and do another one. Those cells are cute. Clean it really good. I don't know if I'm going to make you sit through the second one. <laughs> I guess this is taking so long. Uh, okay. So. I just went off the other side because I figured why not. Okay. Perhaps. What I might start doing is modifying uh, those spots that I don't love. All right. Oh, see, just got my boob in there. Good thing I'm wearing <laughs> my apron. Okay. So I do, I should get a straw, shouldn't I? All right, let's do the other side. I don't even know this is happening. Okay, next, same thing. I'll start this way. Okay. Now, I will want to get rid of these drips afterwards. Get some more cell activator on there. Okay. Do the same thing. Oh, I like the swirly thing happening. So.
Okay. So let's see what we don't like. Let me take off those drips that we're not interested in. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not doing a great job of that, but did that do anything? And then I'm going to stretch it out. I guess I could just do that, couldn't I? All right, am I interested in modifying this? I have my little skewer sticks here. Um, I don't know. Okay. Over here, I like this swirl. This, I'm just kind of breaking any of the pieces up that are not interesting. Do a little swirly here. Okay, what's going on? Oh, popping some bubbles while I'm at it. Um, this is probably gonna come off anyways. All right, now I didn't really think about where I'm tilting, so I'm gonna have to tilt it over here so I don't ruin um, this one. Do you know what I mean? So, let's take her off. Oh God. I'm gonna have to tilt a lot of paint. Okay, so how are we doing this, you might ask. Um, I'm going to just take this off and start tilting on here. So I'm gonna put it on my spinner, which you can't see. So why don't I move the camera? Oop, just hold your horses. All right, I'm gonna move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, kind of, right? You can kind of see. All right. So, um, I'm going, I, I definitely have a lot of paint to take off. So I want to think about what parts I don't like and what parts I want to keep. So I don't like this, but I'm going to start. Oh, this one's tilting a lot, so why don't I just start tilting this way? We're going to start... I think it's just gonna do its thing. We just gotta go with the flow on this one too. I like this thing that's happening there. So I'm gonna get that corner off. Okay. And now we're gonna tilt it back. I'm gonna tilt this corner off. Come on. Good, okay, pretty cool. Get it back in the middle. Okay, let's look at it. That's pretty cool actually. Um, so I'm gonna spin it now. I didn't put it on this board. Let's see how it spins if it's just on my cake spinner because we definitely have a lot of paint left. So the two corners I didn't get are this corner how are we doing all right so I'm going this corner still not off but I'm just gonna check this paint situation. All right, we're doing pretty good. There's not that much paint left, so I'm just gonna spin it ugh, again. I 
and let's see. Did my corner come off? Yes, it did. Okay. So I think it's pretty cool. So while I'm doing this one, um, I'm going to leave this here. So, it, oh no, this is, I can't leave this here. I'm definitely going to fall on it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'll do the second one and I'll do a time lapse of that. So you don't have to watch the whole thing again. And then I'll show you in the end what they look like together. Thanks for joining. Bye.